Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, where the new DLC has dropped. And today we are going to be doing several things. Mostly we're going to be learning some information. And we're going to start by loading this file here, because it's my file. As you can see, I, uh, I went and got a few more Korok seeds. Just a few. Just all of them. And I've also got the full Fierce Deity set going on here. That's me. Alright. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's how we do the Master Trials, then. Yeah, I've... Oh. Okay. That's... Oh. We're, uh... We're just getting quests, then, are we? Okay, looks like we're done. But yeah, I've now got and fully upgraded every single piece of armor that existed prior to this DLC launching. So, yeah, that's a thing. Also got the of the sky set over here, but it's not quite so useful. I like that the Fierce Deity set actually gives us another option other than the Barbarian set for the same attack boost. Like, that's just, it's nice having options. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do to get information, oh, and I've marked all of the boss-type creatures, all the Lynels, all the Hinoxes, and all the Taluses are all marked. Didn't mark the Muldugas, because don't need to mark the Muldugas. There's only four of them, and they're not hard to find. And for the record, I I, I found all the things. Well, not found. I, I looked up the locations. Let's be honest here. But yeah, first information we're going to get. Let's see what path we have taken. That's, uh... I've been to a lot of places, but apparently... This is not among them. That's interesting. This can't be right, because I know I've followed this path out to the cliff before. Yeah, this is definitely not completely accurate. Apparently, I haven't died very often. But there is a death hanging out right there. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and play. See everything I've done from the start of... Oh. I feel like most of our deaths are going to be on the plateau. I was still learning back then and didn't have much health. Did a lot of, uh, a lot of warping. So am I actually going to have to... Okay, no, it does pan on its own. 
I feel like what we're going to be seeing towards the beginning here is a lot of kind of going just from place to place within line of sight towards the beginning. And then later on, we'll start seeing me use a central hub and kind of spider on out from there to several points of interest. And that's just because of how I played. Like, I went from place to place and marked all of the shrines that I spotted from those places. And then just kind of went for everything I could see from any given place and then went to new places and spidered on out from there. And I do believe that was when I was learning to hate electric attacks. It's kind of interesting seeing where I do and don't follow the paths. I remember that death. There's some of them. Or no, they have to have been deaths for that to happen. For it to put the X there. Yeah, because if it counted drownings as deaths, when they don't bring you to nothing, then we would have had one over here in Nucluda. And that was our first Lionel. So was that. And that. That one too. And that one. That wasn't the Lionel though. Definitely a lot more deaths than I remember. So I feel like from this point on, there aren't going to be many deaths, I say, as there start being a small series of deaths. Yeah, but I've died a lot more times than I remembered. And in a lot more places than I remembered. By this point, we had still only done one of the Divine Beasts. Though we did that one pretty early on in my journey, looking at the bottom there with the little progress bar. Most of the time when I warped to that stable, it was me using my amiibos. Because that stable is a nice, convenient place to use them. Some wide, flat space. Yeah. 
and more Lionel. Don't know what killed me there. Maybe a fall. And that was me looking for the rock woods, but it turned out they were the... the or the Korok woods, but it turned out to be the rock woods. As in the Octo Rock woods. Kind of interesting seeing the path that I took through the labyrinth. That was me still trying to find ways out to the island, I guess. Or maybe that was me trying to figure out the puzzle there. Spent a good while on Eventide. did some of the gliding game for a little while too. Yeah, this is interesting, but it's taking a while. Let's speed it up. speed it up any further. What killed me so many times there? Made my way into the Korok forest there. Then we attempted this trial many times. And then we finally got it. That one apparently took two tries. And that last one only took one. And then we made our way on up to the next beast. So by this point, we have done two beasts. So this is us working on our third beast. All right, so by that point we had done it. That was me checking to see if I could get the chest that we missed from that beast, but no, we could not.
Kind of wish they'd speed up this warping animation. There's not much reason for it to take as much time as it does. Especially not after you've gone to the higher playback speed. Tell you what, we'll just watch until the point where I had cleared the fourth beast, because as interesting as this is to me, I don't personally know how interesting it might be to you, and it is definitely taking some time. Like, if this was a nice quick thing, I was thinking that maybe they'd just play it fast enough to be done in five minutes, but no. It most certainly is not. Shouldn't be too long before I end up going for the fourth beast, though. Though, actually, it was a pretty long time between when I got my third and fourth beasts. Of course, it was a much longer time between when I got my fourth and when I actually finished the game. Seems I've definitely had problems with Lynels. And I feel like these deaths cannot all have been game overs. I think I think it might also still put that there if you end up using a fairy or Mipha's Grace, because I'm pretty sure I didn't get that many game overs against individual Lynels later on in the game. Like by this point, I had fairies with me pretty much always. So I think it might still count, just like any time your hearts reach zero, whether you game over it or not. One of these days I'll end up getting back into that Gerudo Desert. It's gotta happen sometime. This is when I'd started farming star fragments. Started off by looking over to the east that way, but then started looking to the west to grab them, because turns out to the west it's a lot easier to just warp somewhere close to where they land and grab them, and there's a lot more just dry land for them to land on. Yeah, eventually, I'm going to go and do that last beast. It's got to happen sometime. I know it definitely did happen during the playthrough. More farming of star fragments. Let's fast forward a little bit here. 
because apparently that's a thing we can do. In fact, let's just maybe go the whole way like this. I don't know. Definitely went to a bunch of places. Exploring the mountains. And here is apparently not yet where we're getting the final beast. Still did more exploring of places, I guess. And probably more grinding for stuff. Okay, that's when we started making a push for the thing, and then I did some more farming, I guess. Yeah, because I had gotten, like, way ahead on recordings, so I'd, I spent a long time farming. Yeah, even this has taken a while, so we're not going to do the rest of the game. We're not going to watch everything. Lots of star fragments. Exploring around up there, and then we did the freaking camel. And that means we've done all the beasts, and I can't make it go any faster than that. But yeah, like... Can I... Uh, yep, I sure went to a lot of places. Definitely interesting to see where there are gaps. Like, a lot of them seem to be cliff sides. But then there's also big plains where I haven't explored everything, and... Yeah. A lot of places where I've gone close, but not too is this? No, it's not a tiny spit of an island. Yeah, let's just go ahead and exit that mode. And just for the sake of doing it, let's go on out here because, yeah, this is apparently a place that I've supposedly never touched. So let's head on out there before we go to collect other information. Because there have been new armors and hats and whatnot placed in the world. And there are three places that the DLC pointed out that we might want to look for books with info on where to find the goods. And I definitely want to find the goods, and I'm going to find all the goods on camera, and once I've found the goods, we're going to start the Master Trial. Also, the fact that the Fierce Deity Mask's light or eyes are uh, self-lit and completely lacking pupils. A little creepy. Oh, it's this cliff that I've been to. That's some completely other cliff than this one. So yeah, I've never gone down Sahasra Slope. Oh, by the way, uh, you can see in the bottom left there, I have gotten 100% of the things on the map. Like, I've been busy since the last thing I recorded. So right around here is the extent of where I've gone. And also, hello. Yep. Don't know how I missed that. Well, I guess it's because right around here is about the extent of where I've gone on this path.
So if we head on out to the Sahasra slope. Yeah, I definitely haven't been this far. Hmm. This looks like a good place to shield surf, though I need a shield equipped if I'm to do that. Let's do this one. Of course, since the rain stopped, we're not going to get quite as good a slide, but can still really get going once we get to the steep part of the slope. And we'll just surf on down. Just so that we will have been here. Well, so much for the wooden shield. And now we've connected with the path. And that, I dare say, is enough of that. So, the places we want to go to get info are the Outpost Ruins, the Woodland Stable, and the South Akala Stable. So, the Outpost Ruins are... Where are those? I have no idea where they are. Um, let's go to the places we know. Woodland Stable is an easy one. It's right there. And considering we're coming up on the end of the usual duration of an episode here. Between episodes, I'll take a look at my map and figure out where the outpost ruins are. Because by virtue of having 100% map, I will have it on the map somewhere. Hang on a sec. Can we just... Yeah, can we do that and... Sure enough. I guess I don't have to look up where the outpost ruins are. Okay. Let's not get so zapped here. I know I could have just changed my hat, but that would have required, like, going to a completely different menu. Who's got time for that? So is this the book we need to read? Super Rumor Mill EX. Karak mask, okay. A thing that is of no real value to me at this point. A tree hollow and a forest that makes people lose their way. So, Lost Woods, Tree Hollow. All right. And then Southern Akala Stable. That's East Akala, so there. Now, if it's in a tree hollow in the Lost Woods... If it's actually in the Lost Woods, Lost Woods, that might end up being kind of annoying to find because there are a bunch of trees there. And if you stray from the path, things that aren't so great happen. But if the tree hollow they're speaking of is like inside the Great Deku Tree, then that'll be super easy. 
So it really just depends what they mean, like whether they're actually meaning the Lost Woods when they say the Lost Woods. Okay. Yeah, that's a, it, a neat thing. They let you make your own fast travel point. Kind of like Dragon's Dogma did. Oh. Well, I've been beneath that labyrinth. So it'll be nice and easy to just pop on over there and grab the thing. Even though it was a dirty, dirty trap the first time we got there. So we just pop on down here. Ah, uh, yes. It's still a dirty, dirty trap. Okay, let's... My Master Sword isn't ready. Well then, let's use this. Alright, that's one down. We, we actually don't have Mifa's grace ready right now. Let's, let's health. Yeah, we can't just evade that on foot. Need a bow if I'm to actually shoot it in the eye. Um, let's let's do some of that. Did I? I did see that this thing. Oh, that that's why it stays in trouble. Let's whip out a shield here. Okay, so much for that shield. Probably shouldn't... Shouldn't have just... Walked on up to this thing, huh? So much for my ancient blade saw. nice that I was able to use the leg as cover. That was a little bit early on my part. And that was a little bit late. I don't like using up all my shields like this. Okay, I was trying to parry, but I guess since I was standing on a spring, it couldn't be done. There. And now that one won't bother us anymore. I see there's another one that's going to stand up. If we approach close enough, that is. Looks like there's a chest right over there. That's probably gonna end up being our thing. Yep, says EX on it.
All right. So where would I put it? I remember there being somewhere that didn't have any fast travel points really nearby that would also be useful to get to quickly-ish. I think it might have just been like, yeah, it was probably just this ledge because it's a good place for fighting Lynels, a good place for farming Dinral. And yeah, it's just generally the only place where you can farm a dragon that doesn't have a nearby shrine from which you can easily get to it. Because, like, there's this shrine, but that's inside the darkness, so you gotta find your way out first, and then it spits you out here, and then you wanna get on over to here to farm Dinral. So that's where I would put it. But we've... Still got more things to read about before we end this episode. Because after all, there is a bunch of armor stuff for us to get. Like there's the Tingle set, there's the Phantom set, there's Majora's Mask, the Korok Mask, but we know that that's in the Lost Woods. I wonder which stuff we'll be able to upgrade and how far we'll be able to upgrade said stuff. Well, I guess if we can upgrade it at all, we can upgrade it to four stars, but how far we can upgrade it with what we currently have is in question. But yeah, once I've got all the new equipment, then we'll start the... Uh, the sword trial thing. So it looks like inside of here is gonna be the info we seek. Let's not use our ancient sword for this. I've got a lot more uh, spears right now than I used to because I've seen the light. The they attack really quickly. And, like, basically the speed of their attacks is enough to make me value their damage number at roughly double the printed value. Because, I mean, look at this. That's, that's really quick. Like, even, even the Master Sword here. That's four swings, kind of slow. But then here... Yeah, it's like twice as fast for the same number of swings. Uh, no, this book wasn't always here. Let's read the first page. Okay. Ruins where soldiers gathered. Waters of Lake Colomo are visible. Ruins of Hyrule Field, where trade flourished, where sinners were imprisoned. Okay. Temple ruins soaked in the waters of Regencia River. More Hyrule Field Ruins. Okay, Battleground. Ceremonial Grounds. And Ruins Where Soldiers Gathered. So, let's see. Regencia River. Which one? This one. So, one of the things is here. And... Probably gonna be some stuff in Mabe Village Ruins. And then there's the Castletown Prison, probably. Gonna have something there. Uh, 
where's Lake Colomo? Okay. So these garrison ruins will have something. And there were other things. Like maybe that garrison ruins will have something. But these sacred ground ruins probably have something. So let's go to these places next time, though. Because this episode's already gotten a little bit long. So that's it for this time. Join us next time when we start searching for all this fancy new loot. See you then, friends.